Good morning, and welcome to Hot Topic in Fresh News. On this beautiful morning of October 21, 2023, we bring you the day's most pressing news. Starting in the world of NCAA football, the Penn State Nittany Lions are preparing to butt heads against the Ohio State Buckeyes in what is shaping up to be a thrilling matchup. Both teams are marching into the game undefeated, but Penn State's star cornerback, Kalen King, is particularly excited to take on Ohio State's superstar receiver, Marvin Harrison Jr., who is touted as the top wide receiver of the 2024 NFL Draft class. King believes that a key to victory for the Nittany Lions lies in stopping Harrison. Moving on to broadcasting details, you can catch the game on Fox at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're on the West Coast, that's 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And if you don't have cable, there are numerous streaming options available. Sling TV, Fubo TV, and Hulu Plus Live TV all provide access to the game, with promotional offers and free trials on the table. In other college football news, keep an eye out for Georgia Bulldogs aiming for a three-peat national championship, a revamped Colorado Buffaloes under the leadership of Deion Sanders, and significant conference changes with UCLA and USC leaving the Pac-12 for the Big Ten in 2024. So, whether you're tuning in for the Penn State Nittany Lions vs. Ohio State Buckeyes or just looking forward to catching the best of this season's college football action, there's plenty to watch and a plethora of ways to do so. Stay tuned for more news and analysis coming up on Hot Topic and Fresh News. Hi, everyone! This is your host, Emily, welcoming you to another episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. I'm here with our insightful and eloquent commentator, David. We're coming to you live from New York City and San Francisco, respectively, ready to delve into today's most pressing news. Thanks for the introduction, Emily. Always a pleasure to be part of this. Absolutely, David. And remember, listeners, we bring you the latest news every day, right here on Hot Topic and Fresh News. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave us your thoughts, and share our podcast with friends and family. It goes a long way in supporting our channel and keeping you informed. That's right, staying informed has never been this easy. Absolutely. And speaking of staying informed, today we've got a real treat for you. You won't believe the head-to-head we're about to discuss. It's a crucial match in the NCAA football season that has everyone on their toes. Oh, I can't wait, Emily. This game is going to be a game-changer for the season. You're absolutely right, David. The stakes are high and the atmosphere is electric. This is the kind of news we're committed to bringing to our listeners. The relevant news. The news that gets people talking. And the news that impacts lives and communities. So, stay tuned, folks. You won't want to miss what's coming. Agreed. By the end of this, you'll be as hooked on this story as we are. That's the spirit, David. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Hot off the press. That's some buildup for the game. Can you elaborate on why this match is so crucial? Of course. This game is a major decider in the Big Ten Conference and could directly affect the players' prospects for the playoffs. Both teams currently stand undefeated, adding to the anticipation. We have heard a lot about Kalen King and Marvin Harrison Jr. What makes their face-off so interesting? King, Penn State star cornerback, views stopping Harrison, Ohio State's superstar receiver, as key to their victory. Considering Harrison is tipped to be the top wide receiver for the 2024 NFL Draft, the showdown carries some weight. But this isn't just any game for the Buckeyes, is it? Far from it. The team has been dealing with injuries throughout the season, and Harrison has had to shoulder a lot of responsibility. But with him being a generational talent, it promises to be a captivating watch. How does the historical record look between these two teams? The Buckeyes have had the upper hand, winning 10 out of the last 11 meetings. This long-standing rivalry adds an extra layer of excitement to the game. When and where can our listeners get in on the action? 
The game takes place on Saturday, October 21, 2023, at noon Eastern Time. It will be broadcast on Fox, but there are also options for those without cable, including Sling TV and other streaming services. There's a lot being said about Sling TV and Fubo TV. What sets them apart from other streaming platforms? Sling TV and Fubo TV are both fantastic platforms for sports enthusiasts. For instance, with Sling TV, you can access the NFL Network, local NBC, Fox, and ABC affiliates, and ESPN. It also provides 50 hours of cloud-based DVR recording space, which can be quite handy. Fubo TV, on the other hand, has a more sports-centric approach, offering access to almost every NFL and college football game of the season. I heard about this new package from Sling TV called Sports Extra. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. Sports Extra is a new package that Sling TV has introduced for the 2023 NCAA college football season and the 2023 NFL season. It gives access to NFL Red Zone, ESPN, NFL, SEC, ACC, Pac-12, Big Ten, and Longhorn Networks. There's a preseason deal where you can get four months of Sling TV Orange plus Blue plus Sports Extra for a fraction of the usual cost. And what about Fubo TV? They offer a free trial, don't they? Yes, indeed. You can start a seven-day free trial of Fubo TV. During this time, you can watch games on your TV, phone, tablet, or computer. Besides college football, Fubo TV also offers NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, MLS, and international soccer games. It's a great platform if you want to keep up with a broad range of sports. As a final point, what's the value proposition for these platforms? Both platforms offer a comprehensive sports package for a reasonable monthly fee. Sling TV comes with 50 hours of cloud-based DVR storage, while Fubo TV offers a broad range of sports channels. It ultimately depends on the user's preference and what they're looking to get out of their streaming service. There seems to be a lot of buzz around Hulu Plus Live TV. What makes it a worthwhile option for watching college football? Hulu Plus Live TV offers access to 90 channels, including Fox and FS1, which broadcast many college football games. It also provides unlimited DVR storage, which is a significant plus for viewers who want to record and watch games later. Additionally, Hulu curates recommendations based on the teams and players the user follows, which adds a personal touch. And what if someone is looking for a more traditional, and possibly cheaper, approach to watching these games? That's where a digital HDTV antenna comes in. It can pick up over-the-air HDYC channels such as CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, and PBS. It's a one-time purchase with no recurring monthly fees and can be a viable option for those living in areas with a strong signal. However, its effectiveness can vary based on the geographical location and the construction of your home. It seems like this antenna has received quite a bit of positive feedback from Amazon reviewers. Yes, many users find it to be an affordable and efficient way to access local television channels. One user even mentioned that it delivered all the major networks right out of the box, providing a cheap alternative to the cable bill. Finally, could you give us a quick rundown of the key dates for the upcoming college football season? Absolutely. The season is 13 weeks long, running from August 27th through December 9th, 2023. The Rose Bowl game and the All-State Sugar Bowl, the two semifinal games, are scheduled for New Year's Day, 2024. The College Football Playoff National Championship is planned for Monday, January 8, 2024 at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. Can the Georgia Bulldogs make history by winning three national championships in a row? History isn't on their side, as no college team has achieved this feat since 1936. However, with their current undefeated record and the leadership of head coach Kirby Smart, who is focused on combating complacency, they certainly have a shot. Speaking of making headlines, what's all this buzz about Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes? After a significant roster revamp utilizing transfer portal rules, Deion Sanders, also known as Coach Prime, is in his first season as the Buffaloes coach. Despite a humbling loss to Stanford, this team is drawing attention, as expected from any team coached by Sanders, who is known for his undeniable swagger. We're hearing a lot about some major shakeups in college football. 
What's happening? There's a significant restructuring happening with teams like UCLA, USC, Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah announcing their departures from the Pac-12 in favor of the Big Ten or Big 12 at the end of the 2023 season. This major shift is leaving the Pac-12 with just four teams for the 2024 season, resulting in much speculation about its future. Finally, where does the Alabama Crimson Tide stand in this mix? Coming into the 2023 season ranked fourth, the Crimson Tide and their fans are not comfortable with the perceived emotion. Despite not being the dominant team that fans are accustomed to, they are still a significant threat and could pose a challenge to the Georgia Bulldogs' potential three-peat. What can we expect from Ohio State this season? Ohio State is performing exceptionally well. They have an impressive roster of receivers, including Marvin Harrison Jr., and are currently undefeated. They're definitely a team to keep an eye on as the season progresses. And how does the Alabama Crimson Tide compare? The Crimson Tide are just one game behind Ohio State. They've had a bit of a rough start this season, but as we know, it's a long season and anything could happen. So, the race for the national championship is still quite heated? Absolutely. With the current performance of these teams and the unpredictability of the season, the championship race is very much alive. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News, where we dove deep into the twists and turns of college football. We appreciate your company, and your engagement truly means the world to us. Remember to subscribe, activate notifications, and share our channel with your circle, on social media, during dinner, or even at your local hangout. If you enjoyed our conversation, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And remember, we're here every day, making the world of news a little more entertaining for you. So, don't miss out. There's always something new and exciting brewing in the world, and we're here to serve it up with a dash of humor. We look forward to your company on the next episode. Until then. Emmy, stay in the loop, keep your eyes on the news, our channel's content will amuse.